today I want to talk about um, I want to talk about people who are f afraid of selling used items on Amazon. Uh, I uh, am just uh, you know surprised at the number of people who don't sell used items on Amazon. Uh, you know they they're they're stuck in trying to just sell new new items, and uh, and they you know they have got a lot of uh, false information out about there about selling used items. Some people don't even think you can sell used items on Amazon, but you can. Yeah, there's a few categories where selling used items is is uh, not allowed. You know, they, Amazon doesn't want you to sell used baby items. They don't want you to sell used clothing or used shoes. Uh, they don't want you to sell used grocery items. I mean, that's just gross thinking about that anyway, used grocery items. But, um, you know, but selling used items in many categories on Amazon can be extremely profitable. Just this year, I've sold a Lego set for, you know, $200. I've sold a book for 80 bucks. I sold a DVD for 20 bucks. I sold a video game for 50 bucks. I've sold a lot of different items and they all had the same thing in common. They were used. And so I want to talk to you just a little bit about some some myths that people believe about selling used items on Amazon. Some people think that, uh, like I said, that Amazon won't even let you sell used items, but they will. Um, you know, the number one item that's probably sold used on Amazon is books. You can sell books in like new, very good, good, acceptable condition, and, and they will bring you back. If you find them at the right price, they'll bring back some good money. So, so look into that. A lot of people think that used books are just not worth your time. I sell a lot of used toys, and when I say used, when you're selling it on Amazon, you need to make sure that it's listed as a collectible. Um, Amazon does not allow you to list it as used, it needs to be collectible. Uh, so when you're listing used toys on items, be sure you're doing it as collectible. But I've sold used board games, used Legos for huge amounts of profits. Um, and uh, you know, I, I learned so much with selling used board games that I whole, wrote a whole book on it, The Reseller's Guide to um, Board Games, How to Turn Play Money into Real Money. If you want to find out about that book, you can go to fulltimefba.com forward slash board games. But there's so many items out there that are worth, if, if the ROI is right, if the sales rank is right, it's worth spending the time to look into used board games spending the time to make sure that all the pieces are there, maybe even spending a few dollars on eBay to buy replacement pieces for pieces that might be missing. It's worth your time. Just like not every single new item is going to be worth your time. You know, not every used item is going to be worth your time. But the right new items and the right used items, they'll they'll work out for you really well. And so think about it when you're outsourcing. Don't don't be scared of of sourcing used items. As long as it's they are complete and in working condition. Used items in most categories on Amazon are completely, it's, it's, it's good and very profitable to sell. Um, you know, uh, yeah, it looks like somebody says that they're sitting in a Harry Potter clue today for 65 bucks. That's awesome. I love that. Another tip for you when you're out there doing retail arbitrage, if you find an item that is, you know, supposed to be new at a Walmart or Target or any other type of store, and the box is kind of dinged up a little bit, maybe there's a small tear, maybe you're sourcing books and there's a little tear in it or whatever, and it's supposed to be new, but you find out that, you know, oh man, you know, I scanned this item and it's just, uh, you know, it's not really good profit, I mean, it's not, it would be really great if I could sell this as new because I could probably make like $25 on this if I sold it as new. Don't don't forget to just glance over to the the used or collectible listings to see what it's going for, as used or collectible. Because you might not make twenty five dollars, but you could make ten or fifteen dollars. So take that just extra second to glance over. If you're you find a retail item that might be the shelf, there's a little bit too much shelfware. Maybe you can sell it as used, like new, and still make some good money. Um, a lot of people are also these days worried about being suspended on Amazon and people think, you know what, if I just sell new items, uh, you know, I won't be in danger of being suspended. But Cynthia Stein, author of the book Suspension Prevention, um, says that in, with the clients that she's helped re get their account reinstated, none of them were suspended because of used items. The, the items that they got suspended on were new items that were you know, that 
the customer thought was were used. So they were used items that someone was trying to sell as new. So again, when you're listing your items and you're listing uh, used items, be sure that you're choosing that it's actually used. Um, if you want to find more about information about Cynthia Stein's book, you can go to fulltimefba.com forward slash prevention. And, uh, and it will take you right to the Amazon page where you can check out her book. I highly recommend it. I'm in the middle of reading it right now. And it, it's just, there's so much to learn about protecting your account. And that's a whole other periscope that we can talk about someday. Um, I, I've got so many more myths that I could talk about overcoming, um, you know, just things that people believe about selling used items on Amazon that just aren't true. If you're not selling used items, you're missing out on tons of profit potential. You're leaving money on the table and you really need to, to consider adding used items to your inventory. Uh, over on the blog, fulltimefba.com, uh, our most recent blog post was all about overcoming more of your fears when it comes to selling used items. So check out that blog post. I have more items, or I have more myths that I just talk about. Um, I replace those myths with the, the truth that's out there. Uh, and there's even some homework for you. I've, I've got a, a, a job for you to do. If you are not selling used items on Amazon right now, walk around your house and look at certain items that you may have. Maybe old board games, maybe old books, maybe you've got some, some toys that your kids never opened. Maybe you've got some stuff in your kitchen that's still in the original box and you've never used it, but it's, you know, the box has been opened so you can't sell it as new. Check it out, scan it, see those things. See if there might be some used items in your house that you can make some money on, on Amazon right now. And if the profit's not good for that, go check on eBay and see if it's going uh, for more on eBay. So, uh, so again, don't be afraid of selling used items. There's so much profit potential out there for that. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate a little thumbs up below. That would be really cool. And if you have a comment or a question, you can do that below too. I'll do my best to reply as soon as I can. And if you want to see any of the links that I talked about during this video, click on the description below. You'll find the links there. You'll be able to go quickly to right where you're wanting to go. And if you want to be sure you don't miss out on any upcoming videos, uh, be sure you subscribe to this channel so that you can be notified when I have new videos come out and, and you won't miss out on any of the free Amazon FBA training that goes on right here. And if you want to find out more about me and Full-Time FBA, head on over to the website, fulltimefba.com. Uh, once you're there, you can click subscribe. You can get some free PDFs that will help your Amazon FBA business become easier. Uh, and check a look at the blog. We have a lot of tutorials, blog posts, uh, videos, and, and resources that can help you uh, make Amazon your full-time job with only spending part-time hours. Some good stuff. I hope to see you there, so uh, be sure you click subscribe. I will talk to you all later. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.